Hi everyone, I'm Brad Allen. We're the certified pre-owned specialist here at Lancaster Toyota Mazda. We always tell all you guys about our great 160 point inspection on all our certified vehicles. But today, instead of just hearing us talk about it, you're gonna get to see it for yourself. We'll send it down to the service center now with Joe Rattan, who will walk you through everything. Hi, I'm Joe Rattan, one of the shop foremen at Lancaster Toyota Mazda. I've been here approximately 25 years. Today we're going to be going over the 160 point certified Toyota check. First thing we're going to do is start it up, make sure it cranks nice and fast, and you have fast idle on startup. And listen for any abnormal engine noises. Everything sounds okay and start the road test. You want to make sure that uh, you know the turn signals cancel left and right. You want to make sure that uh, there's no rattles, squeaks, any suspension noises or concerns. We want to listen to the transmission and we also want to feel and make sure it shifts through all the gears nice and smooth. Check for any kind of shimmy which would indicate a tire balance issue. Check for brake pulsation or the vehicle pulling right or left could indicate a caliper issue or a uh, lineman issue. Now that we got the vehicle in the shop, we're going to perform a light check. We want to make sure that all our interior lights are illuminated. We want to make sure all our vents and ducts work properly. We want to check our outside mirrors. Make sure they operate properly. We want to check the audio unit. We'll check the CD player. We want to check the climate controls. Make sure there's no abnormal noise in the blower motor. Make sure all the functions of the climate controls work. We're gonna check our sun visors. We're gonna check our map lights. We're gonna check our overhead dome lights in the rear. Check the parking brake, make sure that it doesn't pull up too high. And check our center consoles. Um, we're gonna check for any kinds of tears or blemishes on the carpet. We wanna make sure our mat retaining hooks are fastened to the carpet for safety. We want to make sure that the seats move in all positions and that the headrests are there. We want to check the seat belts to make sure they latch and check the entire belt for any kind of frays. We want to check the trunk release and the fuel door release. We want to make sure all the interior trim pieces are securely fastened and none of them are broken and that everything is operating as designed. I'm going to move on to the back seat. Now we also check the door seals, which I already checked the driver's front. We're going to make sure that there's no tears in the door seals and the weather strips. Again, we're going to check the seat belt, verify that it fastens, and inspect it for any kind of frays or tears. Make sure there's no frays and tears in the center seat belt. Rear cup holder. Any kind of tears on the seat backs. And inspect the carpet in the rear along with the interior trim. Right now we're going to inspect the luggage compartment. Now the seat release we will recheck when we go in the passenger side because they release from the trunk area. We want to make sure that the trunk seal is in good shape, no cuts or tears. We want to inspect and make sure that the wiring harness is secure. It's actually not secure right here, that's the net. We're going to check the spare tires, tools, and jack. If there's wheel locks on the vehicle, we want to make sure that the wheel lock is there and works on the vehicle so that if the customer has a flat, they don't have any issues. Make sure all the trim panels are in properly. Everything looks good there. Check for 
any kind of, we always check for the VIN numbers to make sure that it wasn't in an accident. We check the belts, the hoses, the washer bottle for cracks, anything that looks like it might be misaligned or out of adjustment. Check the air filter. And the air filter and the cabin filter are replaced as necessary. I would say probably 75% of the time we replace them because they're questionable. Look for any sign of damage in the front end. And check the transmission fluid. Clean. Check the oil level before we change it. All the certified used cars, all of our used cars get oil changed. Check the coolant level. We're going to top off the washer for it. At this point, we can also check the headlights where they're fastened, make sure that they're fastened securely. Check the uh, washer hose and make sure that's rooted properly. Check your brake fluid level. And do a battery test. Want to make sure that the battery's in good working condition. doing our brake inspection on the Toyota certified cars. The brakes must be more than 50% left in order to be a certified car. So on this particular vehicle, anything less than like 630 seconds is going to get brakes. Um, and the tires have to be 50% as well. These brakes are 830 seconds. Measure the rear brake linings. Rear brake linings are normally 630 seconds of an inch new, and these are just under that, so they do not need replacement. Now we're going to check the fender liners, the struts sway bar links, power steering rack for any type of looseness or play, brake hoses, any kind of damage. You want to make sure your wheel cylinders aren't leaking, get all your springs are where they need to be, your brake hoses in the rear, your coil over shocks, Look for any kind of damage in the rear. Okay, now we're going to check the underside of the car for any kind of damage. Small scuffs like this can be easily repaired. And make sure that all the splash shields are in the proper area. Securely fastened. Exhaust is in the pack. Check the rear bumper, make sure there's no hidden damage there. Check the EVAP canister, make sure all the lines are hooked up. Check for anything that looks out of the ordinary. Make sure all the fuel lines and brake lines are intact, not leaking. Check the engine over for any kind of oil leaks, coolant leaks, anything that could indicate something that needs to be repaired before the customer takes the vehicle. Okay, and that wraps up our 160 point check for the Toyota certified vehicle. Um, along with the Toyota certification check, we also changed the oil. 
replace the wipers, inspect the cabin and air filter and replace as necessary, and also perform state inspection and emissions.